Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a haul video. I'm going to show you guys um, what I got the kids for Easter. So that's, it's not going to be decor. It's just going to be what's going to go in their Easter baskets kind of a thing. So if that sounds interesting and you want to see what I got the kids, stick around. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave so you can come back. Everything I got, I got from Walmart, if that's helpful for anybody. And... I think that's all I have. So let's jump into the video. Okay. So I have three kids living with me. I do have a fourth daughter, but she lives with her dad. So it's just going to be the little ones. I have a five-year-old, an almost 18-month-old, and a five-month-old. The two little ones are a year apart. Now, while she's a baby now, some of this I was kind of planning ahead. So we have Easter baskets. I do have two obviously from when my five-year-old Diana was little but they're all different and I've kind of noticed like Diana wants whatever Emma has and it turns into a whole thing so everybody I just got three of the same basket so that from here on out we have the same so here's the other two they're all identical I'm just planning ahead with the baskets because like I said I do have other Easter baskets but they're all different these were $11.99 which isn't bad considering they're stuffed they're pretty light eventually I will have to get the girls like plastic or like actual basket material but again I will probably get all of them the same but they're cute they're just rainbow rabbits so there's three of those my small dog is down here like sniffing I'm like please don't he's a male so I'm like please don't pee on anything okay let's start with um everybody's I just got one pack of pre-filled eggs that we are gonna go to an Easter egg hunt at one of my mom's friends house she does a big party in the afternoon so there will be another egg hunt there but this is just 18 they're filled with Smarties so I mean it's sugary but it's not terrible and they're like Nickelodeon themed so Paw Patrol Spongebob baby shark I like the pre-filled eggs if you've ever filled eggs you know like sometimes they don't want to stay closed it turns into like a long ordeal it's like trying to fill out it's the same level as filling out your kids valentine's cards for their class like especially if you have to put a sticker or something in the slits on the card if you know you know okay so let's start with the baby and I did go through and separate each kid's stuff into individual bags I accidentally got, there was six of these. I got two packs. I thought I was buying like two wands because they were pretty cheap. So I thought the price was per wand and not pack of six. So I have another pack of these, but I just put two in all the girls' bags. Now, obviously the baby can't do these herself, but she ended up with the green and the yellow. Like I said, there were six colors. I just split them up. So we do have another pack for later. Like I said, I thought I was just buying two individual wands. They were priced cheap enough for the six that that's what I thought I was buying because I didn't read the description. I ordered all this stuff off of Walmart's website and had it delivered to the house. I got three of these. They're little flip stuffed animal keychains. So you've got like this one's a panda bear. This one's for going to be for the baby. And then it turns into a dragon. So they're all different. I tried to kind of judge. I mean, they'll all play with this. They'll share them all anyway, but the baby ended up with that one. I got three stuffed animals. These are all the same, and I like that they match the basket. The lady actually substituted. I think I had, like, gray bunnies. She had to substitute these, but I like that the, whoever, I'm assuming it was a lady or a man with kids, somebody knew enough to coordinate the rabbits with the basket. So I thought that was cute. So the baby has one in hers and she is teething. She's gotten both of her bottom two teeth and then her top ones are starting to come in. All of my kids started getting, like Diana got teeth at two months, Emma got teeth at four months. The baby has just turned five months. And so all of my kids started getting teeth early. So for her, I just got teethers. So she's got this banana one and and these both say three months plus and then this is just a three pack of teethers she can hold on to stuff if you put it in her hand so I do have some teething toys but 
what else are you going to really get a five month old? So that is hers for Emma, who is almost 18 months. My daughter, Diana, the five year old, she wanted, she's been slowly collecting the princess Barbie. So she needed a new Elsa because one of our Elsa's got chewed up by the dog and the other one she gave a haircut to. She's, she got a hold of some of my cheaper haircutting shears. If you're new, I used to do hair professionally. I still have my license, but I just do hair at home. So some of our Barbies have short hair. She's since figured out the hair doesn't grow back. So she doesn't cut it anymore, but she wanted a new Elsa and then we don't have Snow White. So I did pick up both of them. I'm just going to put Snow White in with Emma's. They share all the Barbies anyway. So there's that. And then Emma's same rabbit. She ended up with the purple and the blue ones. And then I only got them one thing of candy each, so I just got mini M&Ms. Emma's is in yellow. I got, she got, it's a fidget fashion pet thing. It's a surprise box, so she got one of those. She did get a full-size fidget rabbit. And then her flip, she likes dogs. Like, she loves that we have dogs. So she, I gave her the puppy one, and then the other side is a cat. So that is Emma's. It was hard to decide who was going to get what. Emma says some stuff, but she doesn't say it ton. So she's not quite as like vocally picky. She does like want what she wants, but she's not as vocal obviously about stuff as Diana is. So I try and take that into consideration. And then Diana ended up with the Elsa Barbie. They said the one that we have has short hair and then her, she's wearing the dress from the first movie and that poor dress is on its last leg. So she did need a new one. Her rabbit. And these rabbits are 348, so they were pretty reasonable. I don't know what the bubbles were, but it was cheap enough that I thought I was buying just two wands. So if that says anything about the cost. Um, she gets a fidget, which this, it was $2. I tried to get really inexpensive stuff. My mom gets Easter basket for the kids. Sometimes my mother-in-law does too. Diana's got the green M&Ms. I don't know how, I think these were under four. She got one. We, they're mystery boxes, so there's hers. And then Diana ended up... <coughs> I don't know how much these were. I want to say they, these were, everything was under five. Hers is the unicorn. And then what is the other side? I think it's a dragon. So she's got a pastel dragon and the unicorn. Diane is really vocal about liking pink. So hopefully that helped. You can get, this is probably going to go up after Easter, but... I'm pre-filming this. We're still in March. I try and get stuff early. Stores just aren't carrying as much. When they run out, they run out. So, like I said, I ordered everything off of Walmart um, and had it delivered to the house. So, that is everything that I got for the kids. I tried to keep it a little bit more on the minimal side because, like I said, my mom does get baskets for the kids and my mother-in-law sometimes does too. So, it ends up being too much stuff. But I wanted stuff just from us from the Easter Bunny here and then I did get a small pack of eggs so that uh, Mike can hide the eggs outside for the kids so they can do an Easter egg hunt here in the morning so yeah that's everything that I have thank you guys so much for hanging out with me let me know what you thought of the stuff that I got do you do Easter baskets I think Easter baskets are fun my mom still gets me and Mike one even though we're adults so I just think it's fun I will continue to get the girls stuff up until I physically can't because I'm going to say even when they're out of the house, I will still probably mail them stuff for Easter. So yeah, let me know what you guys do for Easter at your house. If you celebrate, do you still do baskets? All that good stuff. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already before you leave and hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.